Hey YouTube, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here. And uh, today I wanted to show you how to change your um, SSH password from Alpine to whatever your heart desires. Um, and this is for your SSH, um, your roots password. Um, and it is very easy to change, or it's a bit, you have to follow the steps exactly as they are, but it's pretty easy. You don't need a PC required, or I mean a computer required, but I'll show you um, that it works when I connect um, using WinSCP. But first, uh, all you need from Cydia is Terminal. Um, it was just recently ported to 3.0. It was not working um, a few uh, days ago. Um, but now it does work, so you're just going to install a uh, mobile terminal, and that is all you're going to need. Then um, the mobile terminal should come up, and it should look like that, unless you have some kind of theme. And I'm going to quickly show you um, my SSH. I do have SSH enabled right now, and I'm going to show you that I'm going to log. Oops, I'm going to show you that I logged in. Here, um, I don't have a password saved, I'm just going to click on that, and I'm going to click Login. And it's going to ask me for my S, uh, my session password. I'm going to show you that I'm typing in Alpine. So I'm going to type in A-L-P-I-N-E, and I type that in, in that little box. And I'm going to click OK. And it logged me in. Now I'm going to show you how to uh, change that Alpine password. Pretty easy. Uh, we're just going to go into our iPod Touch. And we're going to open up Mobile Terminal right there. Whoops, it opened up upside down. It sometimes it does do that. I've only realized, I've only noticed this in the um, l latest version that's been ported to 3.0. But, um, damn. <laughs> Alright then. I don't really want to do it upside down because it like, will screw you guys up. But Okay then, we'll do it upside down. Um, the first thing we're going to type in is um, S U. Then we're going to do space. And we're going to type in root. And it should be SU root with a space in between. And then we're going to press return. Press return. And by, by the way, all these instructions can be found in the video description. And then it's going to ask us for our password, and that is Alpine. And then we're going to press return. It wouldn't have shown up um, up there. Um, and now we're logged in. Now all we need to do is type in um, pass WD. So pass WD and press return. And it's going to ask us for a new password. Um, let's see, we'll do, um, we'll make our password hello or something. But, okay, it does not appear again. It's encrypted, so we're going to press return. And it's going to ask us to retype it. We're going to press return. And it is brought back to here. Um, so now, guys, I'm going to press the home button and return it to my normal mode. And um, I'm going to go into my uh, SSH. Sorry, I had something else open. Um, and I'm going to go into my WinSCP. And um, again, I'm going to click um, login. And it's going to ask me for my password. And I'm going to show you that I'm typing in H E L L O. And once that's typed in, we can just press enter or press OK. And we are logged in. Alright, guys? So, um, SidePod Touch for Life 165 here. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. And um, by the way, um, I have been, I am so grateful for the subscribers I've gotten this last week, actually, just in the last week after I've released the 3.0 jailbreak and stuff, I've gotten a tremendous amount of subscribers, well, proportionate to what I have, like, I've gotten, like, 70 subscribers in, like, four days or something, but, um, I'm really happy about that, and remember, um, at every hundred, I do have a giveaway, 
So um, at 300, I will have a giveaway, and it will be um, a promo code again this time. Maybe at 500 or more, I could even do a case. So um, please uh, subscribe, rate, and comment. And if you want that giveaway, then please subscribe. Um, see you guys later.